Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a simple watercolor card project featuring the most adorable crowd of critters, aptly named Critter Crowd. It's one of my favorite releases from the 2019 Simon Says Stamp collection for Stamp Timber. So let's jump in and look at the products. Here is the set and it is literally a Adorable. Just that critter collection. They're so cute and the sentiments are all purpose. Balloons, scripty sayings, the whole thing is a really fantastic set. And I'm going to be using some VersaFine ink today because I'm going to be watercoloring with my Mission Magello Gold paints. I've got one brush, a very tiny two, number two, I believe this is, because it's got to be gotta be tiny because the critters are small. And I'll also be using this set of dies from Waffle Flower Crafts along with some watercolor paper. This is from B. I love this paper. And then I also have a little bit of masking paper for a very small amount of masking. I'll be using a few other things as I go, but first we're going to start with stamping. Now I'm using my Misty, my original Misty, a little bit larger today because I wanted to use one of my Misty Creative Corners. This is going to be a really simple card, even though I think it took me longer than the average card because of the painting. But the Misty Creative Corners will help you perfectly line up whatever it is you're trying to stamp. And the beauty is you can pick it up with the Misty door, with that Creative Corner right in there. It doesn't affect anything. And when you start to stamp, you know I have a very straight image. Now, I like to press down with a cloth. Usually I use a Swiffer cloth, but I couldn't find my Swiffer. I'm going to change, I'm going to fix that shortly, but I like to apply even pressure. And I wanted this to be really dark. So again, the beauty of a stamp positioner tool like the Misty, you can stamp as many times as you like right in the same position. And that's really critical for darkening up those lines. Did the same process for the happy birthday sentiment that I'm going to use. Another thing I love about the sentiments in this set is that they're outlined, so you can color them. You can leave them plain, but the outline adds some potential fun for coloring or painting or however you want to add color to your project. The little scripty sentiment is also adorable. And it was easy to line up because the other two stamped images are lined up and that's thanks to the creative corner and of course stamping with the Misty. That only needed to be stamped down one time. But next I wanted to add a balloon. I wanted my little penguin to be holding a balloon. So what I did was I took a scrap of my masking paper and I keep every scrap. I don't throw away anything for this very reason. You can always use it in any way you need to. And I just stamped up the penguin. I didn't need the whole stamp because the mask is really just going to be for his little arm. So I quickly just cut around his arm and it didn't really matter that I didn't cut out the rest. Laid him down to cover him up perfectly. And once I put the balloon in, I realized, oh, you should have had a little more paper there. So I just took another scrap and layered that right under his arm, then repositioned the little heart balloon, and I figured that would work. So I inked up the balloon, again, with the VersaFine ink, pressed it down, and when I peeled off the masks, just like that, it looks like he's holding the balloon. <laughs> it's not that fancy of masking, but anytime I mask, I'm pretty proud of myself because it's pretty cute. Now for the painting. When I paint, I like to keep a little scrap of the watercolor paper that I'm using because I really am not sure how things are gonna work. And I have this little pipette, pipette, pipette? I just call it my pipette, to add clean drops of water to my watercolor to get it kind of activated and going. And then I do the same process. I take my area that I'm working on, put some clean water. I keep two jars of water that are just off camera. And then I'm just going to get the red that I'm using from this particular palette and get started. Now, I think this project is, has been really good for me because I tend to shy away from painting. I think sometimes that I convince myself it's difficult. And I just don't practice enough. And so when I realized, okay, Kath, you can do a simple rainbow, work your way across, get in some practice, I really loved 
how this whole project turned out. Now I'm not a master of shading. I do know where the sun is on any given day, but do I know where it's going to cast shadows on my critters? No. I'm not the most artistic-minded person in that regard. But I really think practice is what I need. And so for something like this, taking a single paint color for each critter really helped kind of build my confidence because I didn't do much blending. As we get into this card a little more, I did mix a little bit of white into some of my darker colors when I'm going to be painting the Happy Birthday itself. But for the most part, these are single colors from the palette and I'm just layering them in. Now, I will say having a tiny brush is pretty helpful. This is, I have this brush set. It's a collection of travel brushes from, gosh, I can't think of the name. Escoda, is that it? Escoda Versatile. They were not cheap. Uh, someone last year said, you know, Kathy, you want some good brushes, buy these. And because I like to do what I'm told, I decided to do it. But it, you don't need really pricey brushes you do need a tiny brush, at least if you're working with these small images. Another thing I need to point out is I can't see very well. My prescription is quite past due and I'm going to be getting some new glasses soon, but sometimes when I'm looking down here, it's a crap shoot. So again, staying inside the lines is my first goal. Adding color somewhat effectively is goal number two. My hope is just to encourage you if you aren't a watercolor user, but think, yeah, I should try this. There are a lot of watercolor sets out there, really affordable ones, and it is really fun to play with this color. I actually thought the balloon, I kind of nailed the balloon. The balloon had the blend that I wish I could have gotten in everything, but you know what? You live and you learn. For the happy birthday, I just brought in a sepia color from this palette, dropped a little color in the bottom, and then pulled it up a little with some clean water. And that is how I colored the happy birthday. But now, once I started to look at this, I thought it was nice, but I needed to pump up some color. So I came back in with a little more orange to add a little more depth to the bunny. And that's the other nice thing about watercolor. You can re-wet it down and you can re-bring in the colors and just keep working until you think it looks how you want it to look. I took this little pilot pen to go over their eyes and just darken them up because sometimes I find the watercolor can go over the black and if it's sat there too long, it might dull it down. Next, I'm bringing in the dyes, these layer dyes. It's the A2 Layers dyes from Waffle Flower Crafts. I swear to you, this has been my favorite die set of 2019 for this very reason. It lets you frame your piece out perfectly and you get a perfectly sized cut in all these different, um, you know, successive sizes. Now I did have a little piece of schmutz on there, so mono sand eraser to the rescue. I love having this tool as well because, yeah, it gets the schmutz off. Now, the piece on the left is the one I just did. The piece on the right is the one that I did before I started filming. I like it better. It somehow has a little more punch to it, and so I'm going to go with this one. I always do a project before I film. I keep it just off camera on this little tiny easel that I have. I think I picked this thing up at Ikea like 10, 15 years ago. I'm kind of like Bob Ross in that way. You know, he always did. He always did one before he started. Yeah, I'm nothing like Bob Ross, but I do. I appreciate the hair. Can I just say that? All right. I'm scoring my card base. This is Hero Arts, the, uh, the black cardstock from Hero. Very sturdy. I like to tape my cards closed. And then I'm gonna pop my panel up and press it down. I had to bring in some gray paper because I could not see the border uh, to get it down even. Now I debated some sequins on this, but in the end, I loved the simplicity of it. Sometimes you can just let it be simple. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my channel and I will see you back here with another car project soon.